Welcome back to Brand New Life Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the text or string nodes in geometry nodes. So I'm using the latest Blender 3.0 Alpha. I'm gonna select the default cube, go to geometry nodes editor, create new. So we're gonna do something, we're gonna create something with text. At first, you might look at this and then thinking, okay, where is the text node? Okay, right, but we, we know that string to curve is the one that's responsible to generate text. Okay, so by default it's creating some nothing, but we can put a string hello, and yeah, we have kind of like text curve object. This text curve object, if we investigate under spreadsheet, this is actually like an instance of kind of like a geometry text, each one of them have position, rotation, and scale. We might be able to modify this at some point using attribute uh, randomizer or something like that. So, okay, this uh, string is useful. We can pipe it outside, right? So if, if it's pipe outside, we have like, we can have this input and we can type whatever, and it's gonna update. And I know Okay, let's save this very quickly. So this is text curve. Let's just save it. And because this is a curve object, we can actually use like a curve fillet and curve fill. Okay, this is super handy and super useful. And on top of this, of course, because this is like a curve, you can do a lot with it, but in this case, I'm just gonna resample, for example. So we can resample the text uh, using the count, point count, or we can use the length. The length might be the one you want in this case. Okay, so we have created like a new kind of text. We can actually download some text and try using it try yeah okay so we we are able now <clears throat> to create a text object that's converted into curve and this is geometry node so we definitely we can solidify okay so that seems to be working and back to our cube maybe get rid of this for now we have a lot of other curve or text like special character okay we have only line break and tab all right so this is probably related to string join and we also have string sub string we need some kind of text object text in node How do we create a text? Okay, string. Okay, string. String, special character, string join. Okay, so let's make a couple. So, hello, learn sushi. We can combine this using string join. And let's take a look. So, instead of using this, we're gonna use this. This one seems to be combining everything under under a single string. So that's handy. We can create delimiter, kind of like a separator. Okay, we can use space, I think. And we can also use things like line break. Okay, so that seems to be working. Geometry. Node, so we can keep adding this so it's gonna grow cool okay so and then we can play around with the size seems like the size you see if we make the size smaller it's it's also affecting this resemble curve length so we, we are creating like a new kind of language so that's cool and we can control the character spacing word spacing doesn't work line spacing okay 
maximum width this one what is this one related to uh, anyway left center right and we have also control for the overflow scale to fit truncate what is this I think this is related to the text box anyway that's something you can play around yourself on top of this we also have because this is like a curve node we can do the fillet fillet like uh, to make this kind of abstract looking text if you limit limit the radius and play around with the radius you can see this is kind of rounding of our curve object so I think this is a yeah, pretty cool pretty cool start uh, yeah, and unfortunately at the moment we don't have attribute randomize I think it's uh, still being worked on again we can randomize our tags okay that's no problem maybe we can try doing that for now just for just for fun because we have other we have nothing we have nothing else here except maybe you can use solidify I might be missing something uh, let's see text join lengths strings string substring okay that's that's an interesting one uh, so basically with this so let's get back to our text here hello geometry nodes so I just type in hello geometry nodes and so this string substring is kind of like a trimming trimming the text and then you can also offset it so it's you can create this kind of effects very quickly so the length if you want the whole text you can use string length so get the length of the text get this and then we can offset the text this kind of effects might be handy um yeah but for now i guess we can leave that alone so let's make a switch actually switch and string so we have the ability to switch between the our own text and the one that's included here so this is the switch on and off and our own string hello blend sushi geometry notes okay so yeah we have ability to do that pretty cool solidify and just maybe just render this with random color this is your hue let's use the geometry randomized per island plug into the hue and pick a color and let's see if this is now working we only have a single color but if we switch to cycles x we have random color so we have created some kind of text generator and we can switch to different text geometry nodes and of course because this because this is using the this position thing let's also pipe that outside so we can animate this kind of text animations okay so I think that's a pretty good start um, for geometry nodes uh, for nodes that's dealing with text or string still only a couple of nodes but still it's a pretty good start and play around with this curve fill and curve fillet Remember, because this is a curve, you can of course use like uh, I forgot. Uh, we can we can simply use bevel or actually curve to mesh. And because this is a curve, I believe we can just use curve circle and plug this into the profile. And then yes, this is this is another way you can play around with the text object. So you can create the outline i almost forgot oh 
Okay, solidify. Get rid of solidify for now. It's okay, this is the text. This is our text. Um, maybe we need the curve fillet. Yeah. Okay, there's something weird happening there. Maybe that's still like uh, something that they're working on. Okay, so anyway, you can have, you can combine and join the geometry, you know, the curve fill and the curve fillet together. And one of them is generating random color, random material. Here we might need to assign what, what's going on here. No curve data available in the curve input. It's definitely complaining about something. Just assign the material anyway. You don't don't worry because it's like work in progress. Yeah, this is what we got now. I guess don't worry too much about it I think I, I tried to do too much at, at for this but next time we're gonna take a look at this text object again maybe and do some like a cool effects for now this is what we got um, feel free to play around and generate some 3d text typography all right so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye